If I'm working on some lighter weight fabric, a real uh, lightweight knit fabric, or something fairly sheer that I want to do a cover stitch on, you're going, you're going to want to do the cover stitch narrow version. That's stitch number 24. So it's going to guide me to how I want to set it up with the cover stitch um, plate on, the knife is down, the two thread converter is not engaged, the rolled hem is at R, pressure is normal, and the cover stitch um, little part down here is set to C. Now, which needle do I use? That's the one I always have to look at the screen, which I'm very happy that it has. We're gonna be using needle C and D. That means that the far right one is gonna be removed. And I'm gonna do more than just remove the thread from the serger. Always take that cone off so we only have what is being used on the serger at any time. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the needle out. So quick and easy here, and bring that up enough so I can get my little needle threader up underneath it, loosen the screws so it can just drop right down, tighten the screws so it doesn't loosen up any pro anywhere. And now, that's actually all you have to do, is now we're gonna show you what a two thread, it's a nice size, it's very delicate. I'm seeing it more on, maybe it's just because I'm wearing more summer clothes right now, and a lot of my garments have the narrow version of the cover stitch on. So go ahead, when you get to the end, lift that up, slide something sturdy underneath the needles, clip the threads, and pull the whole fabric out the back and clip the cover stitch thread. So here is all three going. This is the two, the cover stitch wide, cover stitch triple, and cover stitch narrow. Next thing we're gonna do is the single chain stitch, which is done in the cover stitch mode. 